<laughs> oh my God, Deontay the Brown Mama Wilder from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. To this day, Deontay Wilder has put in almost 450 rounds in a little over two weeks. Find out about it right now. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Deontay the Bronze Bumble Wilder verified Twitter. Oh my God. He says 447 rounds in 17 days. October 15th is going to be a party that I cannot wait to get to. Boxing. They put a boxing emoji. Listen, I love the energy from Wilder. I mean, he he was quiet after the Tyson Fury, the second loss to Tyson Fury. And he kind of dipped off with his family. And to me, more fighters need to do what Wilder did. It was a bad loss, you know, just given the fact that you've been knocked out two losses in a row. He dipped out and spent time with his family and was just out the way. That's what fighters should do. Instead of some fighters want to be all out and after a loss, they pop out and try to show they're good and stuff. I think you should just spend time. You had a hard camp, you know, a hard loss, regroup. Think about what went wrong, what went right. You know, just take time to yourself. And that's exactly what Wilder did. And it seems like it was it was appropriate because since he's been back, he looks like a monster. First of all, his physique, he looks like the Wilder of old, the Wilder that was fighting Stavern, the Wilder that knocked out Spilka, disgusting. You know, the, the leaner, like muscular, but lean freak of nature like Wilder. And then now he's saying he's doing nearly 450 rounds in 12 days or 17 days. And he's doing stuff different. I seen him running on the track and it looks like he just rejuvenated. And I like to see Robert Hellenius, shout out to Wilder. Wilder continues to show who he is because this is a dangerous pick based on the fact that Robert Hellenius, you could say, oh, he lost to Dillian White and all this other stuff. Robert Hellenius has bounced his career back. And it's the heavyweight division where one punch can change everything. Robert Hellenius fought and ruined Adam Kalnaki because Adam Kalnaki was not looking bad. Adam Kalnaki looks like a completely different fighter after two fights with Robert Hellenius. The other issue is this. Wilder has sparred with Robert Hellenius several rounds. So anytime you have that familiarity with a person, they could know, oh, this person gets tired after the fourth round. Oh, this person don't like the uppercut. Oh, this person can't get away from my jab. You know what I'm saying? So you've already had a preview before. You know, you've already had the appetizer before the main event because you have some experience with that given person. So people don't understand in the sport of boxing. Boxing is 90% mental and psychological. So some people carry these sparring sessions and be like, oh, okay. And, you know, carry that over to the fight and feel like they have an upper hand, even though they haven't beat that person. They feel like, OK, I'm familiar with that person. I know how they get down. I know what to stay away from it and, you know, what hurts them and things like that. So this should be a great fight. October 15th, Showtime pay-per-view. Oh, my God. To this day, I'm looking forward to it. Wilder seems back. Him and Malik Scott putting in work. Him and his team putting in work. Wilder looks again like he's in phenomenal shape. Eagle Weight Watchers video coming soon. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. But I really like mostly where Wilder's head is at. Pause. Wilder seems to be like he's in a good space of his career. He says he cannot wait to go trying out a few different things, but without losing who he is. So much love to that SLC. Subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what you guys think. Wilder putting a lot of um, energy into the comeback. And that's all we can expect. Came off a loss. Let's see how to how to bounce back is, how to come back is. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. I'm the best in the business. You already knew that. And I am out. A lot of people ask me what I use to create content. Things like YouTube thumbnails that generate thousands of views. For the first time ever, the cat is out of the bag. I use Canva Pro. But Canva Pro is so much more than a YouTube thumbnail maker. Use Canva Pro to curate content for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram Reels, Instagram Stories, and a whole lot more. Flyers, flowcharts, you name it, with Canva Pro. Click the affiliate link in the description to get Canva Pro.
many features, elements available to you. Take your brand to the next level. Invest in yourself. It takes money to make money. So sign up for Canva Pro today. Happy creations. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube, Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a Super Thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.